Hi, I'm Kevin McManus with Great Systems. How good do we really need to be? How many errors are we allowed to have each day? Many of the groups that I work with are striving for zero harm, zero defects, zero errors. In reality, it's pretty tough to sustain zero over time, but it is possible. In this video clip, I explore that concept of how good do we need to be. I hope you enjoy it and please consider connecting with me on LinkedIn. Have a great day and keep improving. But if managers knew the true cost of their daily causal factors, they would make very different choices. Do you guys agree causal factors happen every day? Even though we don't track them? Yeah, especially you guys that work with the frontline groups. Imagine management's reaction if they just saw the number of causal factors a day that automatically occur. I wish I had a magic mistake counter. I, this thing has taught me so much about my sleep. I wish it could count mistakes. Because if I could put the mistakes on the big board and then calculate the math of those daily errors, I think management would be very enlightened. And that's, that's kind of hard to do right now, but I'm hoping we're gonna be able to do that in the future. But until we do, I, again, I don't wanna wait for the errors to react. So it comes back to risk. How good do we need to be? And how do we define adequate? Uh, any of you guys work in companies that still preach Six Sigma? Whoa, Chris, that's scary, isn't it? I knew the fad was dying, but I expected a little, few more hands to go up. But what? We're running out of names. Oh, we, well, we stuck lean on the front of Six Sigma. I don't think that got us anywhere. But folks love to preach this, and the way I look at it, in, like from a lot of my Taproot customers, is how many isolations do you perform during the course of a year doing lockout, tagout? Anybody ever thought about that? How many do you get right? You usually get a high percentage right, 96, 97 percent, maybe even more. But how many actually go wrong, and is that good enough? Six Sigma performance means I would only miss one isolation out of 294,000 plus opportunities. Does anybody feel comfortable saying they're that good? I don't think I would. That's a heck of a number. That's a low level of mistakes. We actually came up with this when I was working with a medical device sterilizer. And we were already 99.96% good in terms of conformances. And they were doing around 350 tap roots a year across 18 sites, but they were doing them on process nonconformances. You know, not on really super bad things that happened, but things that could have happened, really more causal factor level analysis. And we were looking at what's it going to take to truly get closer to 100, because in that industry, they wanted us to get closer to 100. Michelle in healthcare, same kind of thing, right? You learned that they have a few more errors in healthcare than one would think, right? But we want to get better. So what does it take? Well, it takes getting better at our safeguards. So here's the first- Hello, once again. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video clip. It meant a whole lot for me to be able to bring it to you. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you have any questions, visit the website at www.greatsystems.com or shoot me a message via Kevin at greatsystems.com. Over my career, I've had a chance to learn about a lot of best practices and I'd really like to share them with you. Have a great day and keep improving.